Welcome to New Link Media, and firstly, we done this project for experimental purpose. Sorry to say it's not a 100% success project. Here D1, D2, D3 are the pins that we have used to control different functions like self, ignition and horn. In this relay red wire is the VCC which is 5 volt and black is negative and the 3 wires from D1, D2, D3 to IN1 and 2 IN3 of relay. In the ESP8266. 5 volt is there and can be used to power the relay, we don't need any extra power supply. So the whole system can be power from the bike battery, which is 12 volt by using a 12 volt to 5 volt converter. Locating the appropriate points, for connecting between relay switch is pretty simple, either simply follow the color code of the wire, or use a multimeter. Now we are connecting relay switches common CC point and normally open point NO, to the two points, of the self switch that we have located. As in the case of self switch, similarly do for the horn, here red port includes the horn wire, and in white port have the ignition terminals, so connect the correct wires to the, two relay switch. After connecting all the three relay switches, then we have to take the 5 volt to power the system, by using a 12 volt, to 5 volt converter. Let's connect that through a switch, so that we can control the system manually, on or off. We can also control the bike normally. Here we have configured Google Assistant using IFTTT web service, and Blink application. All we have to do is, provide internet to the system and we can control the bike from anywhere, through internet. Okay Google. Ignition on. Command accepted, turning on bike ignition with success. Ignition off. Okay, command 
Get accepted by Cloud Success Critical Now. Thanks for watching, we are still working on this project, hope we have given you the simple idea of this smart bike project.